Okay, hi. So today I'm going to show you how I made these cool hand-drawn looking letters in Photoshop. So the trick is I actually started with hand-drawn letters. So I just drew these letters on a white lined piece of paper and then I took a picture of it and I uploaded it to my computer and opened it in Photoshop. So after I uploaded this and opened it, the first thing I need to do is with the magic wand tool, just click. So this is going to select the outlines of these letters. Now if I were to apply a layer mask right now, it would mask the outlines, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna control shift I to select inverse. And then I'm gonna uh, apply a layer mask. So this worked, but the letters, the inside of the letters is also erased, which is not what we want. So to edit this, I'm just going to select my eraser tool, make sure I have the layer mask selected. I do, so I'm going to take the eraser tool and erase the white inside these letters. I'm going to be careful not to get too close to the black because I want all of that black. And then I'm also going to just switch the eraser mode and refill these letters. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to come back around and edit it a bit more later, but this is just rough. Just refilling around the letters. And we're just going to do exactly the same thing to all of them. Okay, so that looks good. We've got our letters filled back in. Now we need to go a little bit tighter around the outside so we don't just have huge globs of white outside of our letters. So I'm gonna just zoom in on the C. Grab the magic wand tool and click on this white area outside of my letter. Now that'll select the white. So now if I grab my eraser, I will be able to erase without erasing the black. But we want to be careful. We're going to try not to get anything inside of the letter. If we do, it's really easy to fix. We'll try to be careful here. So I'm just going to go around the outsides of every letter and do this. I'm not going to do the insides of the O or R yet, R's yet. Um, just going to do the outsides of all the letters. So if you do accidentally erase a little bit of the inside, just toggle the eraser and color that back in. All right. Okay, so now that I've done the outside of my letters, I'm going to do the inside of the O and the R's. So I'm going to zoom in on the O. And I'm going to grab the magic wand again. I'm just going to click inside the O now. I'm going to make sure I didn't include any of the black. It looks good. So I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm just going to go around the inside. Now if you wanted this to look neater and less hand drawn, you could erase some of these black lines. Um, 
but I like the way it looks, so I don't want to do that. Our letters look good. I'm just going to add a new layer, drag, drag it underneath, shift F5, and I'll fill it with black. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything when I was erasing, and it looks like I did. So I'm going to select my layer mask, make sure my eraser is selected, and I'm just going to erase these stray lines. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to just drag this black layer to the bin because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to press V to select. And I'm going to drag these letters into this image of this model. So we're making sort of a custom CoverGirl ad. So because this is a little bit bigger than I would like it to be, I'm going to Control T, hold down Shift, and just make it a bit smaller. That's probably good, so Enter. Now. The next thing we need to do is align these letters. They're a little bit crooked right now, so I'm going to turn off turn off my model layer and I'll zoom in on the letters. So what I'm going to do is rename this layer letters dash. And then I'm going to make sure I have the move tool selected. I'm going to hold it down, hold down alt. Just drag a copy of that up here. Now this first one I'm going to call letters dash L and I'm going to erase everything on this layer except for the L. Make sure I don't leave any bits of other letters around. going to select my next layer. I'll erase just the L for now. I'm going to rename this layer letters dash R. Now I'm going to select it, hold down Alt, and create a copy of that. I'll call that copy letters dash I. I'm going to reselect letters dash R, erase, and erase everything except for the R, and so on for the rest of the letters. Okay, so now we've got our letters all cut out individually as individual layers. I'm going to turn this image back on. So what we want to do is align these letters along the top and bottom of this image. So I'm going to drag down a guideline for where I want the bottom of the top row to be. And then I'm going to go to View, New Guide Layout. So I have five letters across the top, so I want five columns. Now I'm just going to grab each of these letters in the top row and drag it roughly into its column. Now the E and the R are both a little bit slanted because of the natural slant when I drew them. So I'm going to control T to transform and I'm just going to transform them, rotate them, until they look like they're pretty much straight along that guide. That looks good. Just raise that one up a little bit. And same with the R. I'm 
going to hold down shift while I nudge this just so it moves a little bit further each time. There we go. So we'll zoom back out. And that is our top row. I'm going to zoom in on the E. I'm just going to edit the E a little bit because the lines are a little bit too thin to see. Zoom in. grab my brush tool uh, to choose this color I just grab the color picker pick part of the black and then the brush tool so along these lines I'm going to make sure I'm in the E layer hold down shift and click each end of the line just to darken it My opacity is set to around 80, which is good. The idea is just to retrace this a bit darker so that we can see it. It's only affecting the layer that I'm on, which is why I can click anywhere over here and nothing will show up. So that looks better. Zoom back out. It's easier to tell that that's an E. I'm actually going to nudge it a bit. That's better. Alright, so we're going to clear these guides. I'm going to drag a guide down here to align the bottom of these two. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with four columns instead of five. So new guide layout, four. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our letters aligned where we want them. I'm going to select the C layer, scroll down to the R, hold down shift and click. So I've got all of those layers selected. Now I don't need to do anything to these individual letters anymore, so I'm going to merge these layers. Now with those layers merged, I'm going to rename that layer. And then Blending options, satin, so I don't want these letters to be that pinky red color, I actually want them to be this green that's down here, so I'm going to color pick the green, I'm just going to keep clicking until I get a color that I really like, that looks good, so I like it at normal and 60%. So we're going to OK that. And we're going to do the same thing to the word girl. Merge the layers. Rename. Right click. Blending options. And now when I click satin, it's going to automatically do the same thing that I just did. But I want these letters to be a different color because this blends in a little bit too much with her shirt. So I'm going to click into satin, click on the color, grab the color picker, and I like this pink that's in her lips. I'm just going to work with that. That's good. And then hit OK. And there we go. That's the end of this demonstration on how to insert hand-drawn font into your Photoshop document. Thanks for watching.